Yeah. Wait, speaking of Tom's River, you know, you know what I, you know, it just continually amazes me, has all my life, and probably will continue until the day I croak. You know what it is? The lemmings. I don't mean you human beings, because there aren't any human beings. I mean lemmings. The lemmings. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's the July 4th weekend. We've all got to go to the shore. We've all got to go to the shore. Everybody to the shore. Why? Why? So that you can sit in an automobile all day long? You get a, Try to get off of uh, exit 82 off the uh, new uh, Jersey uh, Parkway. Try. Just try. They're sitting in their car. I passed them coming up this morning. They're still there. What did you do over the July 4th weekend, Harvey? Well, we had a great time. We sat in the automobile, and uh, and uh, we counted. We counted all the cars surrounding us. Little Davey, he counted 2,748. Maggie counted 2,749. I counted 2,555. And uh, the missus, well, she was having a great time. Opening up the picnic basket, we, we ate in the car. I mean, it's sick. It's sick to do that. And yet, Americans all over, all over, do it every holiday, every holiday. They all have to do it. We got to go. We got to go. If you tell somebody, well, I stayed home and had a wonderful, wonderful day, just sat out in the backyard. Well, that doesn't sound glamorous. It's got to sound glamorous. Just like uh, getting a suntan. I mean, there's one of the dumbest things we human beings, we human beings have done. And as a person who's had a couple of basal cell carcinomas removed, I can tell you, I don't do it anymore. I haven't for years. But there they are getting baked. You ever see some of these, some of these broads that go to the Hamptons or in the uh, wintertime, you see them down in Miami Beach, places like that. They look like shoe leather. Shoe leather. I got a bigger tan than you have. I'm darker than you. Oh, look at my tan. Don't bother me. I'm catching some rays. And there they are. As a matter of fact, the New York Times dispatched somebody to go to Jones Beach. Um, and she checked it out. She said she had heard the horror stories, read the, the warnings, learned of the possible side effects... She had not even been subjected to daily lectures by her worried mother who cut out articles from local newspapers and left them in her room. Um, her name is Kelly Mer Mercine. She's a 20-year-old college student from East Meadow, Long Island. She grasped the risks. She was not about to begin living her life in the shadows. So on a clear day last week, she spread her blanket on the sand turned her face to the sun and threw caution to the wind, all in pursuit of her guilty little summer pleasure, a tan. And for what? For what? It, it's like the word as a symbol, you know. When going to Florida was a novelty years and years ago, This uh, people used to quell. You know from quelling? Let's get real proud. You bust your buttons. Is you stand ten feet tall because you wowed the neighbors. Hey. Hey, look at Cy. He's got... A, look at that tan. And look at her. Oh, how come we can't go down there and get that tan? What's the matter with us? We have strange values. Strange values. Indeed. At any rate, uh, people are... There used to be a short subject back in the good old days, called, uh, I don't know, you start out, maybe, maybe we have a couple of folks, although we're not supposed to acknowledge that, Madison Avenue doesn't want us to acknowledge that, but we might have a couple of folks who have some venerable years behind them. You might remember this guy. I don't know, was his name Pete Smith? No, it wasn't Pete Smith. Anyway, he used to start to say, people are the craziest monkeys, he used to say. And it was a short subject depicting the crazy things that people do. They did it then. They do it now. They will do it until, mercifully, a large meteorite crashes into the third planet from the sun. The odds are that it will happen 
And I don't want you to worry too much because it won't happen for about four billion years yet. So those of you who are taking your vitamins, your minerals, taking good care of yourself and expect to be around for a long time, uh, you'll be able to see that meteorite crashing into the third planet from the sun. I don't know. Doesn't pay to doesn't pay to observe people because they just drive me drive me crazy.